sometimes I wonder how people even wonder how we end up with gang members and rapists and murderers. First off, school is geared towards business. School is geared towards fucking business. It, it's, it's geared towards making money for society, forcing people to learn the skills they want you to know, but they, as in the people, the government and the businesses, the, you know, the people, government and businesses are, you know, made up of the people who run them, though that is the government, is the people in the government, which is, for some reason, different from the people. You know, we should have poor people in government. We shouldn't have rich people in government. Government positions shouldn't give you millions of dollars. You shouldn't be able to make money off of being a politician. That, sh that should be like a hobby or a side job or something you do because you're truly passionate about it. When money's involved like that, it corrupts it. I gotta take all these deep breaths because I'm really getting excited here. But here's the thing. You go into school your whole life. You learn all of these things. And then the things that people really want to do are electives or aren't there at all. And kids don't have freedom. They don't have freedom. When you have to go to school, if not being in school is punishable by, you know, being met by fucking cops. When cops have to go and, and get kids for quote unquote truancy, that's not freedom. Kids don't have freedom. Who has freedom in this fucking country? Who has freedom anywhere? Nobody has fucking freedom. Nobody has fucking freedom. Rich people have freedom, except they don't. Because they have all the fucking chains, all the other people that they answer to. All the fucking deals that they've made. It's complete bullshit. It's, it's from day one. We're already a product of society. There's, there's, this isn't... An, and fuck that, this isn't a society. This is this is a fucking, everything, the whole world is a fucking conglomerate. It's a, this is not a society because this society is built for people. A society is not built for profit. A society is not built to make money. A society is not built so that people can work in your businesses. A society is not built so that we can put, point and laugh at homeless people. That's not what society is. Society is made to take care of people. It's a bunch of people gathering together for safety. And that's it. That's like, that's all it is. And then some people hunt and some people, you know, cook. You know, people have to fall into their positions. And then, but once you have enough food, once you have enough everything, then what? Then what are you doing? What is the rest of this shit? What is all this other shit that we're doing? The fact that people are starving at all, the fact that anybody is starving, it's not a society at this point. It's, it's, it's fucking tyranny. It's just some fucking corrupt rich people who know how to pull some strings. And that's it. That's all it is. That's all it is. And then they, they do their best to give people who work. People who work or people who are good at screwing other people over. That is that is the majority of the rich minority. People who are who are subservient or people who are good at not giving a shit about other people who can screw other people over, who can argue and say, "Well, at least I put food on the table for my family because nobody else matters." Because we're not all human beings. Because we're not all fucking walking on two fucking feet. It's bullshit. From day one, you learn what they want you to learn. From day one. You go into schools and there's only so many options. You can't do what you want to do unless what you want to do happens to be what the business is what you want. What what the businesses want you to do. And, and I'm tired of people saying that they're doing shit for other people like they're kind or nice. I'm tired of hearing parents tell their kids that they did everything for them when they're wearing a, bu a bunch of bling and designer clothes when they've got these nice fancy, this nice fancy house and they're putting these fake fucking 
um, what do you call them, um, like portrait photos with their family, they forcing their kids to smile and shit. Like, you don't smile, I'm gonna beat you when we get home. I'm gonna lock you in your room. We're gonna take the door away. We're gonna put a camera in your fucking room. We're gonna spy on you and make sure you're doing what we want you to do because you're our kid. And because the laws of America don't actually apply. They don't apply in anybody's house because once you step into somebody's house, it's a fucking tyranny. It's a tyrannical organization. It's no longer, you know, for some reason, it's a fucking pocket dimension. It doesn't belong in America. Well, as soon as you step in a house, you're popped outside of American lines. And then half the shit that happens in America isn't even America, isn't even American. It's not even, it's, it's this fucking earth. It's just full of corrupt people. This earth would be better off. This earth wouldn't even exist without anybody to perceive it. Technically, it wouldn't exist without anybody to perceive it. But without the people here who are perceiving it, it wouldn't be damaged. There's only so much that natural causes can do to a planet. I mean, and nobody, and nobody really worried about the planet itself. Nobody's really worried about a big rock. They're worried about the life on it. They're worried about the nature. They're worried about the animals. You know, nobody's worried about what a big floating chunk of rock, you know, spinning through space. Nobody, nobody really cares what happens to the big fucking rock, right? What they care about is the life on this giant floating orb, the egg thing. That's what they care about. You're killing off the trees, so you're killing off all the birds and the insects and the animals that live in the ecosystems. That's what people really care about. When they say you're killing the planet, they're not actually talking about the fucking, the water, the, the fucking ground they're talking about everything that lives on it and unfortunately nobody seems to give a fuck about that and ultimately they're actually talking about themselves to some degree because you destroy the planet you destroy yourselves you destroy your future generations now what the fuck are you gonna do you're gonna go to another planet that doesn't actually support life and you're gonna create a synthetic life system there why? Because it still has somewhat of an ozone? Why can't you just do that here? Think about it. Why can't you just do that here? Why can't you just create all those synthetic life's, uh, synthetic systems here? The answer is because the people who want to get away from Earth are people who want to get away from the people on Earth, who want to get away from the poor, who want to get away from, from you know, everybody else want to get away from the slaves want to get away from the people who are eventually going to get angry and so now you try to you know fight back and take your freedom what's going to happen nothing because you don't have a fucking spaceship to get to wherever they set up their next fucking their next fucking place at what are they worried about they're going to nuke the planet and then everybody else is going to be on fucking mars or the moon or something no, why can't we just build all the shit that we would build on another planet? Why can't we just build it here? We're not even close to overpopulation yet. People say that we are, but we're not. There's so much space still. There's so much unused space. There's so much of it. There's so many closed down, like malls. Like near, near my parents' house, there's a fucking grocery store, a, you know, not not the biggest grocery store in the world, but it's big enough you could fit like a nice sized, medium sized apartment complex there, or a small apartment complex there. There's more space right there. How many fucking parking lots, especially when you go like Midwest, you know, there's just, there's so much space still not being used. So much of it. And what are we, what are we trying to run away from the planet for? And then why haven't we developed like water houses yet? Like like water living spaces yet? Why why haven't we developed that yet?